In order to make plant-based yogurt at home, the first thing to do would be to get plant-based milk. So the milk that I am choosing is flax milk. It's made from good karma. You can get soy milk or coconut milk or any other type, but it has to be full of protein. So this particular milk has six, eight grams of protein per serving. It, it has 1200 milligrams of omega-3, which is really healthy. So that is why I choose it and it's without any flavor. You can use uh, vanilla flavored milk or any other flavor, but it has to have protein. So this is uh, about 60, gram, 60 calories per serving, and then there are about eight servings in it. So you pour all of this milk in the pan and then bring it to a full boil. So here the milk has come to a full boil. Now you can uh, lower the heat and let it simmer for about 40 minutes. After about 40 minutes or an hour, uh, the milk will get to the point where instead of 8 cups of milk, it will reduce to about 6 cups of milk and there will be a thick layer of cream on it. So we uh, go ahead and turn off the heat and uh, let it uh, cool down for another hour. So now the milk has cooled down and it's uh, the temperature is about 109 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Now it can be between 100 and 110 and preferably closer to 100 degrees. But anyway, we'll go ahead and um, now pour it in the container. But before that, as we can see that there is quite a bit of cream on top of the milk. So you don't want to mix that in the yogurt and you don't want to throw it away either because this is where the good stuff is. This is where all the omega-3 fats are. So what we need to do is we need to separate this, um, this cream on top of the milk and put it in a separate container. So now in a previously uh, prepared con yogurt container or yogurt maker where I had added a little bit of yogurt, just very small amount on the, on the walls uh, to uh, use it as a ma yogurt maker, uh, I will go ahead and pour all the milk into this yogurt container. And it looks like the milk is a little bit more than the container can hold. So we'll just kind of uh, use whatever we can. And now it is important that we make sure that we don't shake this container. So this has to stay still and then we'll uh, fit it inside the yogurt maker machine. So here's my yogurt maker machine. And uh, uh, again, sorry about the light here, uh, but this yogurt uh, or this, sorry, this milk uh, that was in the container, uh, without make sure that it doesn't move or shake too much uh, it goes right inside the machine and we turn on the yogurt maker and it's gonna be ready in nine hours let's see if the yogurt is ready oops woke up too early still has two more hours to go so finally it is ready So here is our yogurt and the ice cubes from the cream. These can be eaten together or we can eat them separately. So after about nine hours, a good consistency, very healthy, full of protein, full of healthy fats, and lots of vitamin D and calcium yogurt will come out like this. So this is flax milk homemade yogurt.